the virgin group is somewhat of a thief in the night look at in every single cookie jar among these over the years there have been several airlines such as virgin atlantic and virgin australia which are still active today while many others do not know about the longer grace of the world skies such as one carrier virgin nigeria airways which once flew for seven years between 2000 and 2010. When Nigeria Airways ceased operations in 2003, the country was in major need for a new national airline. This came to a fruition a year later, in 2004, when a group of Nigerian investors collaborated with the Virgin Group to form Virgin Nigeria Airways. Its base was Mutala Mohammed International Airport, LOS in Lagos, and its frequent flyer program was known as the Eagle Flyer. This year after be, the year after being founded, Virgin Nigeria commenced operations in June of 2005. In Agarov flight, took passengers from its own hub in Lagos to a key Virgin Atlantic base, London Heathrow. The plane used was an Airbus A340-300, which the new carrier leased from Virgin Atlantic itself. In fact, it retained a G star In terms of single aisle aircraft, Virgin Nigeria's most common Naira white body was the 747 family, which it only operated 12 737 300s, a single 400, and less numerous was the A320 and 757 of Virgin Nigeria which flew to and won respectively. Regional aircraft also had a role to play at Virgin Nigeria as far as jet powered aircraft. We're concerned it flew Embraer E-190s as well as cancelling the acquisition of two E-170s. Superprops were also present in the form of the ATR-42 and the f Orca F-27. After five years of operations, the Virgin Group withdrew its branding from the airline, which then became known as Nigerian Eagle Airways. Despite the name change, Virgin retained its stake in the airline, although it had been looking to sell it since 2008. A year later, just in, in June of 2010, well more than a year later, a change in the carrier's ownership structure brought about another name change. This saw it out to take on a rather simpler name of just Air Nigeria. Two more years followed before safety checks in June of 2012 grounded the entire airline. September 6th of that year saw the firing of its management on the ground because of disloyalty and operations ceased fully four days later. There were 15 aircraft in Air Nigeria's fleet at the time of its collapse. Did you know the story of Virgin Nigeria? Did you even know that Virgin made such a deal back in the 2000s? Perhaps you may have even flew with the short-lived airline carrier. Let me know your thoughts.